here by the time you wake up. We've got everything you need in the first alert forecast coming up. Right now at 11, we are counting down that long-awaited return of rain to the Bay Area. We've got everything you need to know to be prepared. And a wind advisory is now in effect. That starts for tomorrow morning. It comes before the rain, so we're going to take a look at that as well and show you where it'll be the strongest coming up. And we ended up, you know, on a plane to Sacramento. It's really troubling that people are being shuffled around this way um, without thought for what's going to happen to the next. And the help and support offered to a group of migrants sent to California from the state of Texas. Good evening, everybody. I'm Reed Collin. We are just hours away from the first signs of the storm that will hit the Bay Area. In fact, let's go live right now to look at the literal calm before the storm. Lots of vantage points there for you. This time tomorrow, all parts of the Bay Area will be feeling the effects of this storm, with the North Bay expecting to get the heaviest downpour. But the rain is expected to be heavy enough throughout the rest of the Bay Area to potentially break single-day records for the month of September. So that said, before the rain, and maybe you're feeling this, comes the wind. So the National Weather Service has issued this wind advisory along the coast, all the way from Cloverdale down to Big Sur. And as you can see in this highlighted section of the map, it's happening. It starts at 6 a.m. tomorrow. That's when it gets real. It's expected to last until 4 Monday morning. So batten down the hatches. Let's get straight over to Darren for a first look at the forecast for the morning. Hi, Darren. Reed, look at the rain already showing up now on First Alert Doppler. Still has not gotten on shore. It looks really good here. We're going to look at this in the future cast in a second, and you'll see there's still a couple of hours before that rain comes on shore, even in the North Bay. By the time that happens, about a couple hours after it does, the wind is going to start picking up. And when you look at the image that shows you those deep bands of purple and red, you can see where this is going to be the strongest. It's going to be in the hills and out along the coast. It'll be windy.